Hey guys, some of you asked me how I do these zoom transitions. I don't use a plugin. It's actually not complicated. And this tutorial I'm going to show you how I do these transitions. So first of all, you need clips who fit together and um, you need to decide if you want to either zoom out or zoom in. In this case, I want to zoom out and from the second clip to the third, I want to zoom back in. There is no movement yet in the clips. I just cut them to the beat. You see here is in the track there is a bass. And yeah, I just cut them to the beat and um, put them all in slow motion. So first of all, on your first clip, you want to choose an area where you want to start a slow zoom in and in this case I would say it's about here it's a good spot then you go to transformation you choose this clip you go to transformation go to 100 set a keyframe it's this little point here when it's yellow you set a keyframe on this actual frame then you go to the end of the clip um, you have to decide how fast you want the transition to be you go either three frames or four, maybe even five frames, but in this case, I'm gonna go four frames to the left from the end. One, two, three, four. Then you zoom another amount in, about 140, that should be all right. And then you go back to the end, to the end, and zoom completely out to 100. Now you see we got first a slow zoom in and then quick zoom out and a quick zoom out. There's still one thing missing. We go to our 141 keyframe. You can check it over here. You can also choose keyframes by clicking left or right. This is our first keyframe here where we started to zoom in, our second, our third. We go to the middle one, cut there with Command B, and then we choose the effects and type in zoom. There is the zoom effect and we drag it onto the small little clip in between. And so we have it there. Now we go choose the clip, go to zoom in the effects menu, and then lower the amount to start with to a low amount. In this case I would go about 8 to start with. Then we go to the end of the clip and higher the amount to, I don't know, maybe to 28. And set another keyframe. Don't forget that. So, let's check this one. Looks pretty cool. Okay, now we got the zoom out. And to connect it to the second clip, we continue to zoom out. So we choose at the second clip, the last frame, this one. Go to transformation, because we want to zoom out, we start by zooming in at one keyframe. So we got 125 at a keyframe. And then, same as the first clip, but this time zooming out, we go to maybe the third or the fourth last frame. One, two, three, four. And set it back to 100. And set a keyframe. So, as you see, now we are zooming from the first clip to the second out. And now we want to zoom in to the next clip. We zoomed out and here we want to zoom in to the next clip. So we go to a keyframe, go to the end, 
zoom completely in and now you see we got this effect as we did on the first clip go now back to the whoop, back to the keyframe in the middle cut the clip again and drag the zoom effect again back in this clip the zoom effect impacts um, harder so I wouldn't go as high as the first one maybe to six first and then to nine that looks all right and to finish it because now we're zooming in we're still going to move in on the third clip so we start by transforming it from 100 to 130 or something so that's it if you want to you can add some uh, swoosh sounds under the effect as I did in my Bangkok edit I'm in Tenerife in holidays next week so stay tuned for a big coming project see you then bye